Well, this was the second time that we were blessed with the opportunity to cook for the Pope during his visit to New York City. And uh, Pope Francis uh, was in New York City 40 hours. We did two breakfasts, one lunch and two dinners. And the experience was really extraordinary. Even now, I kind of look back at it. It's in a bubble. I says, did it really happen? But it did really happen. And uh, to be in such close proximity with the man that's so close to God, that so many want to touch, to see, just to get a, a glimpse of, to be able to cook for him, to nurture him as a person. He the one that nurtures us all emotionally. Well, with Pope Francis was extraordinary. Uh, he even came in the kitchen. He was very human, very uh, basic. Uh, the dinners were very simple. That's what he wanted. And uh, there's such, there was such humility in every approach of the way. He blessed everybody, talked to everybody, took the time, and at the end asked us to pray for him. You know, um, I am all about family and what I do, uh, uh, my, as much as I can, I'm like, like a mother hen. I'd like to have them all around, although, you know, they have lives of their own. But this is such a special occasion, such a special opportunity in one's life to be close to His Holiness that uh, my son Joseph, certainly my daughter Tanya, and uh, I brought as many of the grandchildren to visit with His Holiness and uh, all of them. Uh, this is something that will stay with them for the rest of their lives. Then my grandma came over and introduced me to him kind of more formally in Italian and I shook his hand. I, kind of, I, I didn't really know what to say. I kind of just stared at him for like 10 seconds and then we got to take a photo with him and it's pretty cool. No, I guess it, it boosted my, my religion in a way and makes me more interested in becoming like a more, what's the word, like more focused on religion and like just like going to church every Sunday. I, I think that the response, at least to Ethan and Miles, my, my boys who got to meet Pope Francis, was um, I, the, the positivity that they came away with. And, um, you know, they, these are young boys who may have different opinions on what the church means and their experience of church and church doctrine in their lives. And I think that his ability to even even to communicate to them such a message of, of, of positivity, of hope, of happiness, that they came away from the experience, experience so impressed and inspired that a man can have such a, such, such a powerful uh, voice was, uh, was interesting. You know, it was just a, a different way of seeing them and how they respond to uh, very powerful experiences in their lives. I, I saw my grandchildren come out of that experience as if they made a new friend, as if the Pope was a friend with such ease, such connectivity. Uh, and it's, and it, you know, it was an experience in their life. This man is gonna stay with them, be their friends, friend for the rest of their life. And that felt so good for me. I guess it, it was for a short amount of time, but it, it, I like still right now, I kind of feel like his presence almost, like he's like with me.